I'm Dr. Tushar Patil, medical oncologist and hemat oncologist at Sayadri Hospital Pune, practicing here since last 13 years. This video is about breast cancer awareness. We all know breast cancer is a, one of the biggest killers in females. Also, the increased morbidity and suffering because of breast cancer cannot be underestimated. If we look at the figures of breast cancer, it's widespread and the one of the biggest uh, in numbers that we encounter more so in the urban population but also increasing numbers in the rural population nowadays. It is estimated that in urban India close to 1 in 22 females run the risk of development of breast cancer in her entire lifetime. Breast cancer also can be found though very rarely in males the incidence is 1 in 100 females of breast cancer. Friends we are also seeing a worrisome trend in our case here that in India the cases which are found are quite young, the disease is more aggressive, they come with bulky tumors and they present late to us. The reason is still not known why they come too late but probably it's their shyness or the fact that many times they would neglect their symptoms and would give a different priority to the symptoms. I would here request all females to regularly examine themselves come to the doctor earliest with the earliest symptoms that they have get it checked it may or may not be cancer we need to thoroughly investigate and treat if there are symptoms or signs of cancer the with the increased number of incidence of cancer also comes the uh, silver lining that the treatment also has become more and more sophisticated more and more precise the risk factors for cancer of breast include few of the non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors the non-modifiable risk factors are the genetic risk factors which nobody has control over. But the modifiable risk factors, of course, there could be lifestyle related risk factors, obesity related risk factors, some of the hormonal manipulations that these females may undergo and may increase the risk of uh, development of breast cancer. Early menarche, late menopause, no or very less breastfeeding could potentially lead to increased incidence of breast cancer in females. The most common symptoms that these females would come to us would, are usually lump in the breast. Sometimes there could be a discharge, bloody discharge. Many times if they present in advanced stages, there could be ulceration of the because of the lump or there could be also lumps in the axilla or in the neck region. Close to one fourth of females of breast cancer present to us with stage 4 even today. They present to us in various forms either liver related problems that is metastasis or bone related metastasis and it is very difficult to see them or painful to see them in such conditions. Friends, mammography is wonderful tool available to detect cancers which are cannot be palpated or which cannot be filled by hand. It is recommended for all females above the age of 40 to be done yearly at least once and if required a sonography can be complemented along with that to ascertain the findings. The exact diagnosis of breast cancer of course for all suspected cases would be by the use of a biopsy and if the biopsy proves cancer then tests like ultrasound other tests like PET scan sometimes can be done to detect the stage of cancer. In the cancer treatment it's actually revolutionized for breast cancer. Today more than 60 to 70 percent of the breast cancer patients undergo something called as breast conserving surgery where the entire breast need not be removed preserving their femininity and also their social status. It's equally efficient. With this comes the advancements in chemotherapy and the targeted therapy giving us the maximum benefit for survival of such patients. The hormonal treatment which may run for 5 to 10 years in the form of tablet also gives them a survival advantage. The radiation techniques which is the third treatment for breast cancer also has become very advanced with minimal side effects and very precise treatment being given. So today 40 to 45 percent of our patients are going through a curative intent treatment because they come early, they get treated early and they get cured. This incidence of 45 percent can definitely be increased or percentage can be increased to 70 to 80 percent if females come forward early. Detection is earlier and treatment is earlier. For prevention of breast cancer as we discussed mammography once in a year and for all females breast self-examination uh, whenever they have uh, completed the five days of menses 
and the clinical breast examination every six months by a gynecologist or an oncologist is what will make a lot of difference or a huge difference in the incidence, the morbidity, the suffering and the mortality because of breast cancer. Thank you. If you have any queries related to breast cancer, you may approach us at any of our hospitals uh, or branches and our expert team would be there to give you advice also to treat if the cancer is found. Thank you.